Congolese soldiers at the edge of the Virunga National Park in North Kivu in yet another offensive against rebels. They've been trying for years to push out numerous armed groups roaming this part of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo with little success. The mission now is what they say will be a final push against different groups, including Mai Mai, the biggest threat to the government, as well as the Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda, FDLR. The commanders tell us this time they won't leave until the job is done. My Mai are not soldiers. They are villagers who arm themselves. It's difficult to differentiate between a fighter and an innocent civilian. We are trying to tell communities not to protect these people because they will eventually come back and harm them. The operation started a few weeks ago and soldiers have so far found and destroyed a Mai Mai base, killed dozens of rebels and detained others. This is one of the most important wildlife areas in Africa, with many animals including elephants and endangered gorillas. The rebels are said to be trading mostly in charcoal and wildlife. These soldiers have just been told that some people have been spotted deep in the jungle, so they're heading there now. It's not a conventional war they're fighting. The rebels can easily move around villages and know the forest very well. The rebels are also actively looking to attack soldiers based in villages like this one. On the shores of Lake Edward, Mai Mai fighters recently overrun a military base here, killed at least 10 soldiers and took their weapons. These fishermen say when more troops finally arrived long after the rebels had gone, it's the residents who suffered. When the soldiers arrived, they were so angry they started shooting. Instead of protecting us, they stole from us. They entered people's shops and looted. The military has often been accused by the United Nations and other rights organizations of abuses against those they are supposed to protect. But here, the soldiers say the actions of a few in the force will not stop the work they're doing. They tell us they've won today's fight against the group of rebels they were pursuing. But they also know the battle is far from over. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Buramba, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo.